We are now going to look at the product property. of exponents. And so we're going to start with a very straightforward example. Suppose that we have x squared times x to the fourth. Remember that an exponent just tells us how many times we're repeating multiplication of the space. So x squared is really x times x. And x to the fourth is x times x times x times x. Since all we're doing is multiplication, we don't need the parentheses, so we can drop those. And then we can use our exponents again to say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's. So this becomes x to the 6th. Now this is a really long drawn out way of doing this, especially when what we care about is how many we have. And so we can just look up here at our exponents. And we get x squared times x to the 4th becomes x to the 2 plus 4 which also gives x to the sixth. So when we're multiplying, all we need to do is add the exponents so long as our bases are identical. And if we do that, we'll get our answer every time. So just as a couple of more problems to look at, suppose that we have 2 squared times 2 cubed. Well, this just becomes 2 to the 2 plus 3, which is 2 to the fifth or 32, so we can stop here if we want to multiply a number all the way out, or we can leave it in exponential form. If we have variables, c to the third times c to the seventh becomes c to the three plus seven, which is c to the tenth, and our answer is just c to the tenth. One final problem. Suppose that we have something a little more complicated. 3z squared times 4z to the fourth. Well, here we're going to take our numbers and we're going to separate them from our variables so we can combine our bases. So we end up with 3 times 4 and z squared times z to the fourth. Well, 3 times 4, as we know, is just 12. And z squared times z to the fourth is z to the 2 plus 4. And 2 plus 4 is 6. So our final answer is 12z to the sixth.